Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to build our own chat GPT in our own local system. It means that we will have chat GPT like interface on top of this Olama and we can chat with this Olama models from a web interface. So let's see how it works. So regarding Olama, as I have already given all the details in my previous video, like what is Olama, how to install it and how to run it. So in today's video, we are going to straight into how to install Open Web UI. So what is Open Web UI? So Open Web UI is kind of application or you can say user friendly AI interface which supports Olama and Open AI API as well. So as you can see here, this is the GitHub of Open Web UI and these are all the details. And this is the interface. This is how it will look like when you install in your system. Here you can see the key features of Open Web UI like it is effortless setup it supports olama and open ai api then it has all the permissions and user groups it has responsive design it has progressive web app then it also has hands-free voice or video call support like it has many other features you can go through it now how to install it so in this only you can see the instruction it is asking to install using python pip so it means we need to install python first so if you already have python installed in your system you can skip like next one or two minutes of this video and then you can go straight to open web ui installation so as you can see it supports python 3.11 so we will install python 3.11 in our system so let's go to downloads and then click on looking for python with a different os click on windows if you have windows if you have any other os you can click on those links so as I have windows, I will click here. So in this page, we will find 3.11 version. So let's scroll down and we'll see. So here you can see we have 3.11 version, but these are just some security patches. So you will not find any files in this release. So we have to find a version which has installer. So here you can see we have Python 3.11.9 and it has windows installer. So I will click here to download it. So it, it has been downloaded now. I will click here and install it so i have checked this box add python.exe to route path and then i will click on install now so it will start installing so now you can see it is saying setup was successful so we'll close it so now we'll open command prompt to verify the python version so let's open it cmd and just type python version and you can see we have python 3.11.9 so now let's go to web ui page so this is the github and this is the installation instruction so now what we have to do is we have to just copy this installation command which is pip install open web ui so let's copy it and paste it here so now it will start installing all the dependencies which is required for this web ui installation it will take some time so let's wait till it gets installed so now you can see web ui has been installed so how to run it so you can see the next command which is running open web ui so let's copy this one and paste it here and see it is loading and it will also try to download some models so yeah you can see it is downloading so it is asking for network access so we have to click on allow so everything is installed now now what you have to do you have to go to google chrome or any of the browser and open this url which is localhost colon 8080 so i will just click here and as you can see it is showing the ui of web ui so we have to click on get started and when you open for the first time it will ask your name email address and a password so this is for creating a admin account and as you can see they have clearly mentioned that it does not make any external connection and your data stays securely on your locally hosted server means no data leaves your system from this page which is the url localhost 8080 so let's enter name okay and we'll click on create admin account so once it is done now you can see you have a chat gpt like interface and here you can chat and here you can see your chat history so first of all you will need to select a model here so for that we have to run olama so let's do that 
so we'll open cmd first we'll check what all models are available so we have llama 3.1 so let's run that so now you can see we have two models or three models available in here at drop down so we can just select mistral latest for now or llama 3.1 latest and let's ask some question so we'll say hi and you can see it has started responding in the same way you can ask any question like what is open wave ui so it is giving all the answers in the left side you will see the chat history you can initiate a new chat as well and the chat history will come here so this is how you can install open web ui in your system and suppose that now you want to stop this server so you have to simply go here and close this command prompt and the server will be gone so now if you want to run again you have to open command prompt and type open hyphen web ui and serve open web ui serve and then press enter so once you press enter you can simply go in your browser and type localhost 8080 and that's it you can see your chats here and you can talk to any of the model you have installed in your olama so now this is the end of the video let you know if you have any question and you can also drop me an email on abharicoder at the red gmail.com and i will provide these links of github python and this local host in the description section please like share and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any video which i upload in this channel thank you for watching